Hello and welcome to this tutorial on AIML. In this tutorial we're going to take a look at the condition tag. So the condition tag is basically where the user will give one input, let's say, and there's a lot of similar inputs they could give. So for example, if the user would the user was asking about where somewhere is, such as where is England, where is Brazil, where is China, you wouldn't want to write the pattern where is Brazil and the template Brazil is in blah 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 and the same for England, the same for China, you'd end up with a lot of categories. So the solution would be just to have one category that can answer all these similar questions, or at least questions that are phrased in a similar way. So let's show how that works. Let's create a new category tag, a new pattern, and in that pattern we'll put where is, and we'll put a wild card, and that wild card will be where um, the, the user wants to ask where the, the, the country is. So in the template We'll need to put our think tag, which we covered in a previous episode, as well as the set tag. So we set the name equal to state. So we set the state equal to um, the wildcard. So we put a star tag in there. If you don't know what this is, um, basically the think tags just say don't repeat what's in here in the chat. The set tags set up what variable we want to edit and the star is basically taking input from here. All of this is covered in a previous tutorial uh, so I advise if you don't know what's going on, take a look at those. Um, so we'll need to create the condition now. So if the condition is the condition takes a name argument, name being state, and it takes a value which equals um, whatever this is whatever the uh, wild card is. So let's say the wild card is England. In the condition tags we put England hmm, England is in Europe. Now the cool thing about condition tags is that we can use multiple conditions in the same category to give different responses. So let's create a new condition. Name is equal to state Ooh. equal state value equals and let's take Brazil. Brazil is in South America. Now which one of these will be selected depends on what the user enters as their wildcard. So let's show that working, let's save it, open up chat, and um, as you can see, I, I may have already tested this earlier, but it, sh it should work. So, where is England? England is in Europe. Where is Brazil? Brazil is in South America. And uh, this this can work with any number of conditions. Let's say, where is China? China is in Asia. Um, as you can see, Brazil is in Asia. So um, now that we've established that, um, that's really all you need to know about the condition tag. Um, it's very simple, not much to it, but it's 
extremely useful when you want to cut down on the number of categories. Uh, remember that the variable state can be set from any category within the program. It doesn't have to be within this one. And um, yeah, that's everything. Thanks for watching. I hope that was helpful. And I'll see you next time.